Hello everyone and welcome back to our beginner lecture series. In this video, we are going to start our introduction into middle game. So, in this example, we are in middle game for sure, but how do we know that? We know that because there's no more open corners and there's no more open sides. The bottom can be argued as an open side, however, with both stones on the third line, it's pretty settled and hard to continue on the bottom. So, Again, the middle game is when there's no open corners and no open sides, it's now time to go into the middle game where we develop, reduce, or invade. To figure out which one we need to do, we need to ask ourselves, which area is the biggest territorial area? In this case, the top right and the top are Black's area, and it's the biggest territorial area on the board, or territorial framework on the board. If it is ours, then we would simply develop it. For example, if it was Black's and Black's turn, Black would simply jump up and build this position up. Make it bigger, and make it larger, and make it more difficult for your opponent to deal with it. In this case though, Black defended his weakness first, and it's White's turn. So since it's White's turn, we need to either reduce or invade this area. To reduce, we would find the line of the influence, or the line of the framework. To do that, we take the stone on one side, and the stone on another side, and draw an invisible line between the stones. This is roughly the line of influence. In order to find a good move, we need to find a move that simply plays on this line of influence and pushes the line of influence down. This will reduce our opponent's area. If you go too far, for example, if we go in like this and go behind the line of influence, this is considered an invasion because our opponent can very easily surround us and attack us. Therefore, I think simply playing on the line of influence and reducing this position is a valid option for a reduction. For example, you can play here. You can play here, you can play here, here, or here. While some moves are better than others, for our level and for our purposes, just playing on the line and pushing the position down will do our goal. Remember, it is more important to understand the concept than the exact moves at this level. The other option is to invade. An invasion is when you go into your opponent's side and try to live and destroy all the points in the area. For example, if I simply go in and try to make this stone live, then after the stone lives, the entire side will be destroyed for black. Invasions are very powerful ways to destroy lots of territories or very big areas. However, they are risky and your opponent will get something to attack and will gain profit by attacking it. This will lead us into attack and defense, which we can work on later. For now, if you want to invade, try to find a third line move, because third line is good for solidarity and for making eyes. In this case, this move has three follow-up moves. A, B, and C. So if black takes one of the others, I can simply run away. Or, I can run, slide, and run again. When you invade, you always want to have at least two options as follow-up moves. The reason for this is if you only have one option, it's very easy for your opponent to take away that single option, and then you're in a very dangerous position. A common invasion is a 3-3. An attach or an approach like move or an invasion here against this shape. These are common variations or common invasions you'll see in higher level games. Try a few and see how they work and then after you figure out how they work and how your opponents will respond then you can learn the proper variations. I recommend learning in this order due to the fact that after you see how it can be played and how you would play it, then try to figure out what moves are best and what moves are not so good, then see the proper variations and you'll understand why the proper variations are, they, 
are the variations that they are due to the fact that they will be better or exactly the same as your variations. Trying something out first and then figuring out the proper variations later will help you more understand it. So in this example, once again, our options were to develop, reduce, or invade. In this case, our opponent's area was the biggest, so we can choose to reduce or invade it. To make the distinction to reduce or invade, try to imagine, if I simply reduce, how, much, how many points is my opponent going to get? If the amount of points is too much for your opponent, then perhaps an invasion is better. However, if a reduction is good enough, a reduction is easier, it's simpler, and safer. So of course you want to reduce if you can. If a reduction is just not good enough, then perhaps an invasion would be better. However, this is not going to be the case 100% of the time. It's just a good outline to give you an idea of what to think about for now. All right, that'll be it for this video. In the next video, we're gonna go over some common life and death uh, attack and defense situations in order to make a base and live on your opponent's side and some other shapes. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next video.